What's going on guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing and analysing the new Star Wars Rogue One trailer. I have not seen it yet, I know absolutely nothing about this movie or this trailer, so let's get right into it. I have no idea what to expect. If you want to see my uh, what I hope for in blank video for Star Wars Rogue One, you can click right here. I did a video just saying what I want to see in this movie, so let's just get right into it. I'm excited for this movie, so let's just watch the trailer and then I'll analyse it. So I've got the trailer ready, I've got my headphones, I've got my style shirt, and I'm excited. The video came out four hours ago, so let's just get right into it. At the moment, it sort of looks a little bit like Coruscant, but let's just, I don't know what to expect, so let's go. <laughs> got some TIE Fighters flying around, awesome. Got the... got two of the spaceships. The world All right. is coming undone. Alright, cool. Imperial flags rain that, across the galaxy. That's a big Star Destroyer. Lucas Films. Alright. I'm loving this so far. Can you be trusted without your shackles? Let's just get this over with, shall we? Cool. Got Mon Mothma. Hell yes. <laughs> All right. Ah. Major Jesus. Oh, the Star Destroyer and the Death Star looks so good. We've seen a few clips from um, uh, the trailer beforehand. I want. That's a cool spaceship. A little bit like an X-wing. Good. Good. Okay, sets. So I've been recruiting. Just pause for a bit there. That's, uh, it looks like an X-Wing, but let's just go back, sorry. It looks like an X-Wing, but it has two people in the cockpit. So, we've never really seen that before besides the Millennium Falcon, so just going to take this off because I think I'm speaking a bit loud. I've been Got some Stormtroopers from Star Wars 4, not Clone Wars. Destroyed our home. I fired the Empire now. This is cool. It, it looks like a new sort of planet that we haven't seen. I think this character's blind as well. I'll just get back to that, missed it. All is... As the force wills it. He's just kicking ass. This is awesome. Whoa, alright. I will not kill you. Thanks. That reminds me of Proxy from um There isn't much time. Okay, pause. <laughs> he reminds me of Proxy from um Star Wars Force Unleashed. But at the moment, here, the Death Star's upside down. It's a bit odd. Like, you know, if you just turn your head, it looks cool, but, like, it's upside down, and that's a bit strange, but play. Much time. Every day they grow stronger. It's got the general guy from the last trailer where he's walking through the, through the water. Oh, I love this part at the moment. I, it's, sorry, but when it's on the sand and it has, like, the ATATs, that looks amazing. The ship just exploded. It seems to be a very, uh, very wide of a... This is our chance. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna... I've, I'm just constantly going back to this, but, like, I'm constantly skipping back in the videos, but, Jesus, it looks like it's in a lot of different planets, or just a lot of different, you know, spots on the planet, and that looks really cool. It seems to have a wide variety of where they are, and that's pretty interesting, but it has this awesome shot of him this shooting the ATA. That's... Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> Going to light speed. Are you with me? Alright. All the way. Okay, pause. <laughs> I'm just constantly skipping back to the bits that I'm talking over. But I think I don't think that's a a um a TIE fighter rocking up and be like, Oi mate, what are you doing? I think that's like the guy that she's with or someone going there to pick her up or someone meeting her there. So I think that's an ally in the TIE Fighter. Rogue One a Star Wars story. Hell yes! Alright. <laughs> that is so cool. Okay, so I heard that there were... I heard my friends talking about this after they saw it, and they were sort of disappointed that Darth Vader wasn't in this. I I thought that he was going to be in it, but I wasn't sure how... You know, I didn't think Darth Vader would be in the entire... Um, in the entire trailer. I thought that it would just be like a little sort of Easter egg or something like that at the end, because usually... Like with um, Captain America Civil War, when they released that Spider-Man was in it, he was only in like a one second clip at the end of the trailer. And that's cool. Like after the credit or sort of after the title, then they show it. That's a really cool technique. I like how movies do this because they don't just show all of the character, like, you know, all of the character before you get to see the movie. And that's really good. I like that he's sort of, you know, he's got the iconic Darth Vader voice. He's got or, like, the iconic Darth Vader breathing. He's just got his helmet there. He's looking at the Death Star plans, and it is bloody awesome. I love this so far. And then it ends. December, real D. All right, IMAX. 
All right, cool. So guys, that was the Star Wars trailer. I loved it. I sort of spoke through the bits at the moment, but you know, if you want to sort of click it uh, down the bottom in the description, I'll give you a link to the official trailer. My thoughts on this, I'm really excited for this movie. I love Star Wars. I'm wearing a Star Wars shirt with Kylo Ren. Um, you know, I've done a Star Wars Rogue One video, so I'm obviously excited for this movie. There was apparently, uh, what was it? I think that's, it's like, uh, yeah, Rogue One, a Star Wars story, Celebration Reel. I'm not sure if that has spoilers. I've heard that someone in the cast says something that would definitely not be... It would just be stupid of them to say, I have a fair idea of what is said, but I don't know who says it. So, you know, I'm I'm not going to tell you guys because that would just be so crap and so stupid and just spoil everything. But, you know, I'm excited for this movie. I don't know too much about the characters. I haven't read up on every single subreddit and Reddit post or anything like that. I'm trying to sort of avoid it and only watch the trailers because I don't want it to be like, you know, X-Men Genesis... Uh, sorry, not X-Men Genesis. Terminator Genesis where it's like... I've already spoiled it in my other videos, but it's like, oh, yeah, you know, he's John Connor, he's the bad guy. It's like, it's, I'm really happy that all of the Star Wars trailers that I've seen so far, like with Star Wars 7, Star Wars 7 did it perfectly because they just showed shots of the characters, they gave you no story, and it's great. This, you know, it's the obvious story in between Episode 3 and 4 where it's like, you know, here's what happened in between hands. Obviously, the Rebels get the uh, hold of their Death Star plans. Spoiler alert for the movie that's, you know, obviously in the middle of the franchise. But, like, I'm really excited for this movie. It's got, you know, basically all you really know is that it's in between Episode 3 and 4. And, you know, the Rebels are, or, like, the Empire is taken over like they did in Episode 3. And the Rebels have sort of formed their own little, uh, like their own little rebellion or their own little group to rise up and rebel against the bad guys. So that's, it's cool. It's what we already know because we've seen 4, 5, 6, and 7, and we we already know how Star Wars ends. Well, actually, we don't know because 8 and 9 haven't been made yet, but we already know sort of how this movie is going to end. And even though we know how it's going to end, I'm excited for this movie. I think it's going to be really great. It's done by the guy who did Godzilla, like I said in my other video, and hopefully that has... I've said this in the other video, but hopefully it has, like, the moments where, you know, it looks up and you just see how big the AT-ATs are. And it just looks like a war movie. It looks really, really good, and I'm loving this so far. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys.